Hi there, it's me, Hang 'em High 2000. I wanted to show you everything there is to know about the PPS 43C closed bolt. It runs on the closed bolt system because uh, it's not legal to import it here in the full automatic position. It also has this sight here that flips up and down. So you can flip it up for close range and down for long range. So I'm going to get the camera in here closer so you can see it a little better. But this is every machine gun, submachine gun made today is a variant of this PPS-43, you know, Russian uh, Soviet Red Army gun. Also, this uh, gun is a variation of the PPSH 1941. And they did make a prototype in 1942 on the PPS-43, which is very rare because it was sent right off to Leningrad, the siege of Leningrad. So yeah, to take this thing apart, you want to wear gloves at first, like uh, mechanics gloves, not these. But uh, yeah, you want to keep this thing nice and greased up too. That's why a lot of them aren't firing right. So let me get the camera in here closer so you can see what I'm doing and I'll show you everything there is to know about this gun. First we'll take a little trip to the Radam plant. Fabrica Radam. Alright, they also make the AKS in Radam. Radamski Fabrica. And there is like the Radam company there and there's the new modern plant this is really called pioneer arms and see it says that's the pioneer arms president and there's some of the other guns they make but there it is right there what they're doing is they're taking off the uh, it's uh, imported by uh, International Ordnance Incorporated. What they're doing here is they're uh, taking these guns off the uh, 1950 vintage Polish machine guns. And uh, there's one of the workers right there working on them. And here's another variation they're going to make these guns. And there, this is part of the new AK, Polish AK they're making. It's an article that's in Shotgun News, July 20th. Yeah, these are the magazine pouches right here. You can see they're like little wooden things. You just button them up like that. These are 35 round box magazines. And uh, it also makes a, a training model that shoots 22 but you have to have a, a aluminum insert in there see they don't really fit in there okay so what I have here to show you is see this button on here this doesn't work because it, it's welded shut so you can't this won't fold back all right so you push this button right underneath here see and that opens it and that's why you want to wear gloves or you'll just just that thing will close on you while you're holding it like this so as you can see I have a lot of grease in there see that what I put in there just this uh, military Vaseline works pretty good you got that step around the house and that's why they're not working. See, see what I mean? How that almost closed. So what's going on here is this bolt is actually sliding on what would be called the dust cover on an AK. See. And if you don't grease the upside more than the bottom, it's not going to slide. And the reason why you grease this right here is because it fires off the closed bolt. Now here's one of those parts kit bolts. See the difference? See, this here has this piece right here on the end, and this was turned down, see? So that's because the, 
right here see that the trigger it slides right up on that so you want this thing all greased up really more than you want that uh, you know the, the WD-40 stuff on there and you can see the difference between a real automatic trigger see this is the automatic uh, pistol handle see the difference that's why it's fired from the this one here is fired from the open position and this one here is fired from the closed because this is fully legal and right in here is where it's welded right there see that right there on the outside of that circle or otherwise you could uh, I'll show you here's one right here see there's one from the parts kit in the this position right here see it's in that position right there see but it's been cut off by the ATF so you don't need to even push that button see you can just flip it right up and it locks now to get it down you have to push the button on top see push the button in see and then it, it's really easy to do too Except, you know, it's not put together right. So see how they cut that off? So I really don't have a problem with the ATF like everybody else does. This parts kit, they're just good enough for me. I told people just to buy the parts kits and they get all fired up about I don't need that. You know, I want a real machine gun so they can act like that retard. Now, let's not get into that again. That just gets me all excited. Then this is the cleaning kit you get with it. You get this. And this thing is assembled, again, I told you, in Poland at the Radom factory. Radomski Fabrika. And this is the cleaning rod, see, that you get with it too. Okay, it's really a nice gun. And uh, these magazines pouches, I bought them optional. And... Uh, This is the Yugo mag, mag the Yugo uh, cartridges, which are dated 1954, which is uh, like 58 years old, right? And this is the Polish magazines, uh, yeah, the Polish uh, ammo, and that's dated 1955. So that's uh, 59 years old. No, it's the other way around, really. This is 59 and this is 58 years old. So anyway, um, this stuff is so nice, you don't even want to take it out. It looks like it's Christmas gift packed. But here's what it looks like open. See, it's pretty nice stuff. And then this is the, you know, the real bolt before they turn that piece off down. And no, it won't fire and it won't fit inside that gun. Sure, what I mean, I don't really care about that if it does or not. See what I mean? It fits right here in the hold open position, see? So yeah, they let you have this stuff so you can study it. See, and when you pull the trigger, that goes forward and comes back, and it just keeps doing that until you let up on the trigger. See? Boom, 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 like boom, 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 and then you let up. And what happens is when it's way back like that, the weight of this bolt just hits those cartridges so hard, boom, they go off in this closed bolt position. Sometimes it'll misfire. That's why you need to grease it up really good. Also, that's what parts kits are for. See this? This is the spring. At least this fits in there. Because look what happened to the old spring. It's a different variation with some kind of goofy uh, leather around it. See that? Which tore here. So I can stick this in here, which has got wood. 
which I don't even think is real anyway. I don't think that's standard either. <coughs> but I can put the wood in there. So. Alright, now I'll put it back together again. Like I said, you probably want to lean it, lay it down like this. And wear gloves, because if that thing closes on you, it's going to really nail your finger good. So we stick this in here like that. Put this back piece in first. See? And then just slide her back. And there she is. It looks pretty sloppy, don't it? What I'm saying is, freaking put the grease in there, man. Don't cheap out on the grease. Put some more Vaseline than you need there, see, because that's where that just like slides right up on that ramp like that. And then you want this to slide in here real good. And it's greased up good. Then it won't misfire all the time. The hammer here slides here. You can close her up. Then you can put a full magazine in like this. See? Like that. Can you see that? It's already double in value. And this is also the original sling for it, pulley sling, which I think might fit these magazines too. You know, like this. Because most people like to wear them around their neck like that, you know. From the PPS SH41 to the PPS 1943, they cut production time from 7.3 hours to 2.7 hours, and they saved the 50% savings in steel, and they had an output from 135,000 for the PPS 41 to 350,000 a month for this PPS 43 because it's all like stamped metal, you know? And don't forget the sights here, I remember told you, they flip up and down. That's for 100 meters, and backwards is for 200 meters and further. Also, the reason for this uh, 7.625 Tokarev ammunition is because it's, uh, it really is a long-range bullet. It's not, it's not a regular 9mm. It's like the 9mm, but it's got a smaller bullet, so it really it really is a long distance. It was for taking your Tokarev pistols out of your, uh, you know, pistol pouch and being able to shoot the enemy, like, at over 100 yards, or 100 meters, whatever you want to call it. That's about it. I think I covered everything there is to cover. Just make sure you use lots of grease and shoot fire lots of better. That's what I've been having trouble with. I've been just breaking it in, too. And also, see these grips right here? As you get these tools at Harbor Freight, right? I think this is like $2 for this screwdriver. You get like one of those 4-inch uh, grinders and put a cutoff, 4-inch cutoff wheel in it. And you just put this in the vise, like, you know? And then you cut the center out with the cutoff wheel. And that way... If you have anything like those Mausers and stuff with the bolt coming through like that, see, it'll fit right around it and then it'll tighten it right up. See? So that's a special, uh, you know, classified gunsmith secret that I'm telling you right now that nobody else knows about. Make your own screwdrivers. The PPS41 box magazines or the PPS841 drum. Do not buy it. It will not fit in this gun. This is really proprietary PPS 1943. And that's it. So anyway, there she is, the PPS 1943 Radam, Fabrika Radam model. 100% made Pioneer Arms in Poland.